trigonometry, formulas for negatives, just a really quick video. Just start off with this. Sine of opposite t, sine of opposite t is equal to what? So this is all I'm saying to you. Is here, if we're on a unit circle here, remember if we're going this way, we're going positive angles, angular values. If we go clockwise, we go negative angular values, right? So cosine of 45 degrees is square root 2 over 2. Sine is square root 2 over 2. If this, look, this distance and the other one, are, these two distances are the same, right, just in different directions. So this one has a cosine value that's square root 2 over 2, but its sine value is opposite square root 2 over 2. So my point to you is just that that's the reason that we get that it's the opposite of sine of t. So if you know what sine of 45 is, then sine of negative 45 would be the opposite of that, wouldn't it? Let's do the next one really quickly. So cosine of opposite t is equal to what? Well, look at this for a second. If we take cosine of 45 degrees, it's right here, and cosine of negative 45 degrees is directly under it. So it hasn't moved at all, has it? That is to say, we haven't moved in the x direction whatsoever, so it's the same as cosine of t. All right? So let's just keep moving a little bit and say tan. Well, tan of opposite t is equal to what? Well, look at tan for a second. Tan is sine of t, isn't it? Over cosine of t. Well, we know that sine of opposite t is going to be the opposite. Cosine is going to be the same, so negative over positive is opposite tan of t. And that's how you would figure that out. Moving on, we would go to cosecant. Cosecant of opposite t is equal to what? Well, cosecant is 1 over sine t, isn't it? And we know sine t is opposite, so it is the opposite of cosecant of t. I hope this is making sense because it's a real, these are really, really easy formulas to use, and they'll really help you. So see if you can't figure out why the same thing is true here that secant of opposite t, right? Secant is 1 over cosine t. So, and it stays the same, doesn't it? Therefore, we have is the same as secant of t. And lastly, we have cotan t. Remember, cotan is cosine t over sine t. And one is same and one is opposite. So it must be, well, this is of opposite t. So it must be the opposite of cotan of t. And if you memorize these formulas and have some idea why they work, they can really, really help you in trig. So.